Hey guys, uh, I'm Steven. Welcome to Bad Toy Reviews. Uh, this is my shop. Uh, my wife thought that maybe I should start the video off in front of the camera. So if you hate looking at this mug, it's her fault. But I, I got a box of good things in today from Dorkside. So we are just going to take a look at them and see what's in the box. I mean, I know it's in the box, but... Okay, first up, Hologram Iron Man. It says, Ever the Innovator, Tony Stark takes flight, holographic form, computer-generated avatar, and an enduring force for good. So, you see there, the Hologram Iron Man side of the box, and the bear. Oh, I love the bear. It's the only reason I bought this wave, to be honest. And... That's going to come into this in just a second. So next up, we have Ironheart, a.k.a. Uh, Riri? 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 I don't know. But Ms. Williams, a uh, super genius in the comics. Um, she comes with these new pieces. And she's got her Build-A-Figure piece there. Very, very, very cool. Good head sculpt on that, too. I like it. Next up is going to be Dark Star. So there's Dark Star. Drafted as a Soviet operative, operative on a nefarious mission, Liana Petrova eventually broke free from the system and began to use her super secret skills to her own ends. So, but Dark Star. Sure. Again, the only reason I bought this wave was for the bear pieces. And here we have Stealth Iron Man. So that's that's pretty cool inside the box there. That appears, yep. That is literally just the 80th anniversary Iron Man with a new paint job and a Tony Stark head. Uh, next up is the Vault Guardsman. So there he is with armor equipped with repulsor rays, high carbon steel alloy mesh, and radiation shield in the vault, Guardsman sets his sight on the complete destruction of Iron Man. So, comes with this blaster that we've seen a few times over, and a bear piece. And the last figure in the box is gonna be Ultron. A uh, robot, maniacal genius, science experiment gone wrong, Ultron is the supreme weapon of mass destruction and a mortal threat to the Avengers and all humankind. So that's cool. Ultron. Uh, Alright, we're going to open these up and head back over to the table that I usually do my videos on for that portion of it. So, see you guys over there. Nice. We are. We are back, and first up is going to be this holographic Iron Man. Uh, it's a pretty cool figure. Uh, translucent figures are always cool to me. Um, before we talk about that guy, let's let's talk about accessories. Uh, accessories are going to be these two translucent fists. You see the the sculpt there, and the lights. Pretty cool, and he also comes with these two blasts. Uh, the blasts can go in his feet or his palms. I believe so. Yep. They can go in his palm. Um, we're going to take a look at this guy real quick in 360. And then afterwards we will take a look a little closer to talk about some stuff. Um, as you see, the blue translucent plastic continues all the way around so yeah pretty cool um, one gripe that I have right off the jump is you see the I believe in like Gundam and things like that people who build Gundams they they call this panel lining where you accentuate the panels on the figure now it was very clever of them to do this with white on the front of this figure, but nothing on the back, nothing, just nothing. So they panel lined part of the front, but that was it. So there's that. Now, 
let's take a, a closer look at this guy. Very cool figure. Um, I like it. I like it. I believe this is going to be a movie armor. And the head, I don't think is. I'm not 100% certain. But, yep. So that's, that's Hologram Iron Man. Uh, we'll take one more look at him on the spin of magic here. So you can you can get a good look at it there. And we will move on to the next one. Okay, guys. Uh, next up is going to be Dark Star here. Um, everything I know about the character, I read off the back of the box in the intro for this video. So if, if you're curious about Dark Star, uh, I would Google it because I know almost nothing. You know what? I'm not even gonna say almost nothing. I know nothing about Dark Star except, you know, she wears black and yellow. So, and she's Russian, apparently. So there's the thing. Um, Dark Star comes with two extra set of hands. She's got some gripping hands here and some punching hands here. So. Uh, other than that, she's got the uh, mystical type hands. I believe every Marvel female character comes with a set of these hands. Let's see if we can spin her around without her falling over. Nope. All right. So um, here's a, a good look at her hair. It's very soft. Um, I do like how it comes over her shoulder here. That's very nice. Pretty good detail on the face. So, you know, not a bad head, uh, but nothing nothing fantastic about, about the body here. It's just, it's a regular Marvel female body. So there's another look at the hair. The hair does look very good. I will, like, yeah, the hair looks very good. Um, skin tone is pretty good. You see there, so. Uh, yeah, so that's Dark Star. All right, guys. Next up, we have Stealth Iron Man. Um, it's just the 80th anniversary Iron Man figure with the new paint deco. But it's pretty cool, new paint deco. Uh, he does come with these red repulsor blasts. And these alternate hands that will seat the repulsor blast, or you can put them in his feet. So, uh, yeah, we'll just rotate him around. Oh, wait, one more accessory. Tony Stark head. I imagine there will be some people who buy this figure just for this Tony Stark head to go on that 80th anniversary figure. But we'll just move him around here, and then we'll take a, a closer look at him. But he's a he's a pretty good figure. Um, you know, it's it's nothing new. The Shang-Chi video that I made has the exact same body mold in it. Just a different color deco. And uh, one cool thing about this, I don't know if it's, it's gotta be the plastic the figure's made with, but you see there that it's its sort of iridescent, which is cool. It's got, uh, for lack of a technical term, a bunch of little sparkly things in it. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, I like how I like how he has the uh, the red here in the arc reactor spot and in the mouth and eyes. So very cool. Next up will be the Vault Guardsman. All right, guys, and here is the Vault Guardsman. He does come with a space gat, as you see here. It's the same laser type gun that came with the Captain Marvel. Uh, whatever Jude Law's character in Captain Marvel's name was, Yon Rog, I think. And he comes with a second pair of hands balled into fists for punching. A very cool, shimmery, iridescent plastic there for the second figure in a row. But there is the Vault Guardsman. Um... He's green. He's very green. You see there. And he's shiny. Very green. Very shiny. Very nice. It's 
So let's take a closer look at him. Uh, you'll see that this piece on his head here is a separate piece that comes up a little bit, but it does not come all the way off. Um, he is shimmery like the Stealth Iron Man was, but he is green, as I've said probably half a dozen times now. So, sorry about that. But, yeah, standard, pretty much standard Marvel Legends body. I think this piece might be new because it has a line that's running all the way around it. And, you know, the hip piece there may be new as well. I'm not entirely certain, but they definitely didn't reinvent the wheel here. But, yeah, so Vault Guardsman, pretty cool. Now let's take a look at Ultron. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Ultron. Uh, before we get into this figure, let's talk about his accessories. He comes with a pair of fists. He comes with another grabbing hand, like a hand that can hold something. And his final accessory is this bit here, which slides into his mouth to give the look like he has in the comics, which is super cool. Very, very cool feature. Um, it, as far as I know, and I very well could be wrong, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is a all new sculpt. Um, there could be some Doctor Doom elements in here. I do not know for certain, but it looks pretty cool, especially with this fire effect in his mouth. Uh, you'll see here that the the plastic is is a bit shiny as well. Not quite as the shiny as the two previous, but it still has a very nice silver color to it, without being like you know vacuum formed kind of thing. I like the the contrast of the bright red of the eyes and of course the fire stuff in his mouth. You see the back of him here. He does have the pinless knees and elbows that are relatively new to Marvel Legends. Um, these pauldrons here are interesting because they rotate around independent of the shoulder so as not to bother the articulation. So pretty cool feature there. Uh, there's spikes here. Um, if you look, it looks like his jaw would articulate, but it does not. But nonetheless, a very cool feature with with this. I hope whoever whoever thought that up got a bit of a bonus. Uh, the bottom of his feet are cool, and uh, yeah, so that's that's Ultron. Very cool comic inspired figure. And next up is going to be Ironheart. All right, and here is Ironheart, fresh out of the box. Um, we're going to talk about some of her accessories now, and then we will talk about some of them in just a moment. Um, she did come with these two fists, so that's cool. You see there? She also came with an unmasked head, which is very cool as well. Ironheart, I am a little more familiar, familiar with. Um... About the time I stopped reading comics is about the time she came into being after Tony was killed in, I believe, Civil War II. And she took over the mantle of, well, she became Ironheart. I won't say she became Iron Man, but uh, Holographic Tony hung out with her and she became the Iron Avenger. But very, very, very cool figure. Uh, I like the helmet a lot. I like the map pieces in here. This is one of the new pinless bodies that you see here. And this may be the first pinless female body. I'm not certain. Let's see. I've got some laying around right here. Yeah, the Black Widow figure had pins in it. It might be the first pinless female body. But you see here she has double knees. And she has a double elbow, which is very rare for female figures. Uh, the new Scarlet Witch had the single jointed elbow like Star Wars figures. 
And there's the back of the figure. There's a little bit of sloppy paint work right there, but all in all, very good looking figure. Very good looking. All right, so let's pop that off. We'll put her unmasked head on there, if I can get it to go. Come on. All right, well, I guess it's on there. So there it is. And I'm gonna pause it and put her other accessories on because they are so cool. All right, and these are Riri's other accessories. You have a repulsor blast here, like comes with most Iron Man figures. And then you have this smoke corkscrew thing that looks super cool. Uh, you'll see here it wraps around her arm and I was gonna do both hands, but then I decided to see if it wrapped around the leg and it does. I'm not sure it makes a whole lot of sense. Maybe I'm doing it wrong on the leg. Hang on, let's take it off. So we'll just take it off here. There we go. All right, and maybe like this. Ooh. Let's see. Hang on, let's set her down for a second. And we'll just thread this piece in here. Plug that back in. Ooh, I don't hate that. Let's try it with the piece all the way, th all the way around. Just like that. Like that on a flight stand? Get out of here. That looks really good. Oh, that is very, very cool. So, there you go. You can do it like this. Wrap it around her arm. Put her on a flight stand, do it like this. That's cool. Well done, Hasbro, well done. I give you guys a lot of grief, but You've delivered something very cool here. Smoke effects, genuinely cool. Take a picture of it. Maybe they'll start releasing these with Iron Man photos, or photos, Iron Man figures that they do in the future. That'd be very cool. All right, now, I think you've noticed that I have not mentioned the Build-A-Figure pieces while doing while showing the figures as I have in the past. But here is the enormous Build-A-Figure. He is huge. He does not fit in the frame. Let's back this guy up. Still does not fit. He's all the way to the back. Okay. Let's back this guy up now. We'll re-angle the camera. There we go. Pull him back closer. Uh-oh. Here we go. So here is Ursa Major. This is the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure Wave. Uh, as far as Ursa Major, uh, he's a bear. If you didn't realize it, um, he is, in fact, a bear. That's all I really know about him. And honestly, that's all I needed to know about him. As soon as I saw this build a figure, I was like, okay, I don't care what figures are in that wave. I, I'll have them. I will buy those figures. I will build the bear. Ha! <laughs> build a bear. Uh, that was not on purpose, and that was very unfortunate. Sorry about that, folks. I totally punned. But here is the world's most gruesome build a bear figure. Well, he's not gruesome, but. He is burly, but there he is. He's very muscled up. I can't talk about the figure or about the character. I know nothing about him, uh, but the sculpt on this is very, very good. Um, I like the claws. How he, he doesn't have he doesn't have fingers, but he has he has some pretty serious claws. 
got him a slap in hand. And here are the claws on his feet. His articulation, uh oh, pulled that piece off. You know, he's not the most articulated thing in the world, but he is humongous. Uh, let's get him in here for scale with my favorite tool for scale, Worthy Captain America. So as you see, he towers over Cap, which is great. Um, I love this guy. Absolutely love him. He is very, very cool. So, yeah. I did not get the seventh figure in this wave. Uh, it was an Iron Man figure, and I just I wasn't interested in it at all. Um, I got the the six figures that I needed to get to build the build a figure, and that was about it. Um, you know, it. I mean, it's a giant bear. If you've if you've watched any of my videos at all, you know I have a a soft spot for apes robots and monsters essentially um king kong got some other figures on in my display that like king shark i know nothing about king shark but i like king shark because he's a he's a monster so there you go but very very cool build a figure uh the paint job is pretty good i think i am going to throw a black wash on it to kind of bring out the sculpt a little more. I think it would look great. Or maybe a, just a really dark brown wash. Have not decided yet, but it will probably happen. But yeah, I can't say enough things about this figure. I, I, I just love it, you know? It's very, very cool. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, usually I end it here, but I'm gonna throw it to another i guess you call it an outro where i talk about a contest since we're over 500 subscribers so uh thanks for watching the video guys all right guys thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video i just want to take a second and thank like my subscribers uh, we recently hit 500, which is mind-blowing to me. Uh, when I conceived this channel, I never thought it would, you know, I, I thought me and if I could guilt my wife and kids into it, be the only people who watched it. Maybe my friends, but only when they're drinking so that they can make fun of me. I never thought it would be what it is now. I mean, by no means am I Mr. Beast. Like, I don't, I don't want to be Mr. Beast. But, you know... It's a big deal to me. Like, 500 subscribers is a lot to me when I expected eight. So, thank you guys so much. Um, and to mark the occasion of 500 subscribers, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a little thank you. A little thank you for my subscribers uh, from me. A big part of it is going to be the six action figures you just saw, minus the Build-A-Figure. Uh, this guy is basically the only reason I bought that wave. I'm not really attached to any of the figures, so I'm going to give all six of them away to one person. One person's going to win all of those figures, and it's not just going to be that stuff. I'm going to put other stuff in there, but those six figures that you just saw, the hologram, the hologram Iron Man, Dark Star, Stealth Iron Man, Vault Guardsman, Ultron, and Ironheart. You're getting all those figures, all the accessories. Um, it'll be shipped to you free of charge. I'm going to throw some other stuff in there. What what, what else is going to be throwing in there? I don't know. You know, uh, maybe some more figures, some accessories, some 3D print stuff. You know, I got 3D printers. Maybe some 3D print stuff. I don't know. Uh, but again, this guy is mine. You will not get him, but you will get the six figures that it takes to build him. Um, and like I said, some... Some other stuff as well. Uh, again, guys, I, I can't thank you enough for subscribing to the channel and watching the videos. It, it means a lot to me. Um, this year's been kind of rough, but I don't want to go in, into all that. Um, thanks again for watching, you guys. I am starting a TikTok. So the 
TikTok link will also be down below. Um, thanks again. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm shooting this part of the video on June 25th. I'm going to have this uploaded hopefully tomorrow, June 26th. So let's say the contest will just run two weeks. So July 10th, I will pick a comment from this video. So if you watch this video, please be sure to comment because that's where the drawing will come from. To win, you must be subscribed to the channel and you must comment in this video. Go ahead and throw a like in there too. Great. But have to comment, have to be subscribed to the channel and I'll pick a winner and then I will do what I can to contact that person. Um, thanks again, guys. I, I can't, I can't tell you how appreciative I am, but contest is going to run from June 26th to July 10th and the winner will be chosen on July 11th because I'm going out of town July 12th. So, uh, subscribe, comment on the video, and, you know, you can win six figures. Six figures you don't have to buy. If you want to build a figure, you'll still have to buy them, but six figures. So, uh, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to stop, but thanks again for watching the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's <laughs> go.